Well, okay, followers. I know it's been a little while since I've done this. I didn't see a lot of response, and life was giving me a lot of hell. But, we're going to try getting back into it here. This is my collection of Daryl K. Sweet artwork. Uh, he, he's kind of like a artist that some people like, some people don't. Uh, I've always liked most of his covers I've seen. Uh, towards the end when he was doing the um, Wheel of Time covers, they started out okay, then they kind of, you know, as he... Because he was getting quite old at that point. And they kind of went went off the track. But I always loved his Zanth novels book covers from uh, Piers Anthony. And I wish I could have all the, the covers from his Lord of the Ring covers. Because they are some of my favorites there. But this is his, a collection of his stuff. Uh, you'll see a lot of Zanth. Uh, this is from uh, Bishop's Heir, I think, or one of those two. Let me see what that... No. I wouldn't be able to describe it to you like I like. He did a number of the uh, Lawrence Watt Evans stories that I like, too. Oh, this is getting really blurry. There we go. But, yeah... And there's a paint, one card in here that shows a realistic painting he did. And it shows his talent was a lot better than sometimes these would show. But one of the things I always liked about them, they are very colorful. So that's the first set. Here's the next page. You'll have to excuse the extra light in here because it is evening. I'm hoping it comes out. I actually got this book way later than I ever th thought. It was a, a 70s or early 80s book and I passed it by for a long time and I actually got it and I actually liked it. I'm surprised. Uh, this is a Zanth novel. Uh, yeah, like these ones with the overly flowery uh, hoods and stuff I didn't always like. I think that's actually a book cover, though. Uh, that's exact, I think. This is from one of the uh, Lawrence Watt Evans books. I have one with, unfortunately, an alternate cover. Uh, I always loved this one, just from the color of that sky and the color of the wings. I like that. And if you get down in here, I don't no, if you can see it, but there's actually little faces all through here, which I thought was good. This is from uh, a Lawrence Watt Evans series. It was a four-book series that I thought was rather unique. And this is the very first book in his... Oh, give me a sec. i got to find it. The name of the... Uh, S S. Oh, I can't even pronounce it. It was always a hard one for me to pronounce. But that's that's the actual book. I think they're S T H A R. E S T H A R. If somebody can pronounce that for me, please let me know. <laughs> but that actually was a. A book that I passed up a long time ago. I always liked the cover, but I passed it up. And then I got into the series. I started with these, and then I fell in love with his style. And then I started with these, and I was even more impressed. You know, you get so used to those big, massive volumes now. But for the size of the novels and the time frame of when they were written, these are very good novels. I, I, that's another thing I had mentioned I will do sometime is an overall um, review of the series to the point where I'm at. Because uh, I think it's, if you jive with a lot of the things I re have mentioned on my site, you'll find this a very good series. There's some more there. 
this is a series I passed up too. I don't know. It's a different writer though, so um, one of these days I'm going to, like I say, I, you know, like I've said in the website, I have been finding my way back to a lot of the older books and stuff like that, and that's one that might catch me. The, this is one from Thomas Covenant, The Unbeliever, by Stephen R. Donaldson. Always liked that cover. He did a lot of those covers, too, and they were really good. Uh, that's uh, Zank here. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about this one. But as you can see, they are very colorful all the time. That's one of the things, like, there's more of that orange sky, like I noted the last time so this is act no this is by this is a cover from a book by Piers Anthony but it's not Zank I remember this series I think one back further over here was one of the books in this series it was like a separate series that he had but just just look at all that color really comes out. Now see this one here, his people can be look good and then sometimes they can look really mm, and they just right here in this one just does not work for me. But over here that works really well. Diarney that's what these ones are for, uh, that King Kelson one. Um, yeah, these are other covers from other books in that series. That's actually a good series until towards the, the I think there was prequel ones I didn't like as much. Kind of fell apart. This is from an Anne McCaffrey Dinosaur Planet, and that was actually a good book. Okay, and this is from uh, Brian Daly. And it's part of the uh, Jinx on an Terran Inheritance. And I, that's, it's a fun book. It's not a deep book, but I love the co covers and the story was enjoyable. This actually might be from an Isaac Asimov book. I think it was Lucky Star or something like that. But yeah, his space is... His space stuff is kind of clunky, but then sometimes it really, like I say, that works really nice. And those aren't bad, but they're very old school kind of space. More Zanth. I love these ones. Just look at the color in there. These are all different... Cruel Lie, Golem in the Gears, I think that one is. That's Ogre Ogre. Oh, I remember some of them. <laughs> oh, this dragon. Compared to some of his other stuff, it's just, it's just like a, it's like a whole different person. Here's one of the old tokens, which I love this cover. And I love how they managed it in the actual movies to have something like it. Man, I can't understand why my phone so gave me such trouble with the the focus, but yeah, that's really good. I'm not all big on it. These are his version of the Ents. Eh. That's a Zanth, I think. I think a couple of these other ones are things too. That one is. But I just, he just has really rich colors in his stuff. I thought I had that picture in here, that regular painting, but I think it must be somewhere else. But it was it was surprisingly good. I was quite shocked because I'm so used to this kind of the overly colored maybe not the best people images in some cases but it was quite a difference so this is the whole Daryl K sweet set sorry for the troubles I'm doing this I'm just pushing myself to do this it's been a busy week already but 
Uh, I've been wanting to put this one of these on again. So here you are. Enjoy. <laughs>